Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel Speak Wine to Me. My name is Kyra and I'm going to be talking to you about wine things that interest me and perhaps you as well and also about the wines themselves. Today I am starting with a Zinfandel, one of my favorite wines, uh, simply because I'm back in California. I've been living abroad in France for three years and am in the Golden State for a hot minute. And to me, coming back to California always means finding a Zen as quickly as possible. You know, my body's here. I don't feel like I'm quite back in Cali until I've had a glass of Zinfandel. So that is my first wine for my new channel. Thank you and welcome again. This Zinfandel uh, comes from a producer, OZB, and I actually have to confess that even though I am a certified specialist of wine, French wine scholar, uh, master level Burgundy certified, uh, maybe one or two other things I can't remember, that I actually bought this wine for the label, <laughs> which I know better, but isn't that why most of us buy the wines that we buy? Other than, you know, it being a favorite that you've become accustomed to. A lot of times your first experience is as a result of being drawn in by something colorful or intriguing or uh, interesting on the label. This was uh, a bit of a spontaneous purchase. I uh, had planned to visit various wineries in the area and be very selective about it, but I am in a hotel and I needed to stock my hotel fridge and happened to grab a bottle of Zen while I was at it. So Zinfandel. Zinfandel is a grape that is actually the second most planted red grape in California. And that's interesting because other than that, it's rather ubiquitous in the wine world. Um, you do see some Zen in Southern Italy in the Puglia region, which if you're looking at an Italian map, uh, would be the heel of the boot. Uh, you also uh, have some Zen known as uh, Syriac, Kasselanski in Croatia. Uh, Croatia is thought to be the origin of this uh, particular variety. And other than that, it's not in too many other places, although it's slowly making its way around the world. But California is the place for Zen. And uh, if you've ever had Zinfandel grapes, uh, you know that, or I should just say Zinfandel wine, you know that it is uh, a, a grape that is very versatile and can be made in a number of styles, most famously in the 80s when uh, white Zen was all the rage, and I'm not even going to touch on that beyond that. Uh, the Zen nowadays is a little bit more um, robust and typically a dark colored, uh, somewhat uh, weighty wine, although it can be made in lighter styles. I picked this particular bottle because of the old vine and also because of Lodi. So this bottle is um, uh, made with old vine zen and old vine basically means that for the most part the vines are at least 30 to 35 years old and the reason why that has some significance, uh, although it's not entirely regulated that term old vine, it does allude to the possibility that uh, grapes coming from an old vine will provide a more concentrated fruit flavor. They tend to retain their acidity and tend to make for uh, a wine that has a better balance overall, um, as opposed to a wine made from younger vines that might be um, a little more edgy, these wines tend to be a little bit more rounded. Um, and Lodi, because that's one of my favorite regions in California wine regions, uh, particularly since uh, Lodi tends to get a, a good amount of sun and old vines, which are usually less likely to have a big leafy canopy, tend to be exposed to that beautiful bright California sun a little bit longer and a little bit more fully than younger vines and so you will find that that flavor will sometimes translate uh, from the ground into the glass so that's why I grabbed this one. All right let's give it a try. 
I am going to core then this one because I am one person and this is a whole bottle of wine which I will not consume on my own and uh, maybe in a future video I'll talk about some of my favorite wine toys, Corvan being one of those. Uh, this allows me to open the wine without taking out the cork and it also blankets the wine with argan which argon excuse me which will uh, preserve the freshness a lot longer than if I had to actually um, unseal and uncork the wine itself. So I am going to Coravan it. It will allow me to have a little bit here, a little bit there, and still stay fresh without having to, again, like I said, open the whole bottle. does take a little bit more time to pour with the Coravan and I just loaded this one with a new capsule so it comes out a little frothy at first but that has nothing to do with the flavor of the wine or the quality of the wine it's just the way that the wine passes through the needle and like I said this is a new capsule that I just loaded having gotten off the plane and organ capsules not being allowed um, by the airline there we go now that frothiness is gone. A little bit of a splash there on the glass, but if I hold it up in front of the white frame, you can appreciate the color. I wish you could appreciate the aroma with me. It actually smells very nice. Uh, but that's the old wines in that I just poured. And just taking a look at the color, it does have a almost purple tint to it. On the nose, it's classic Zinfandel. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of, jammy, dark blackberry, sweet cherry, fruit, really robust fruit aromas. With some sweet tobacco, a little bit of chocolate, some mocha on the edges. Let's give it a taste. So this is interesting. I usually don't find an off-dry Zinfandel. Usually they're pretty bone dry, but this one actually has a little bit of residual sugar that I'm picking up. As well as a repeat of all of those jammy baked flavors that I described earlier, that dark cherry, um, blackberry, boysenberry, and then with the uh, leathery, earthy, chocolatey aromas and flavors as well. That's a pretty good zen. Nice way to start my, my uh, stay in California. I'm very pleased with this one. I will enjoy it over the next couple of weeks. I hope you find one that you like. Thanks.